we're back again on Ravelry, and this time we can take a quick look at the social side of Ravelry. Now, this is a little bit of a tricky one. At the top here, <coughs> you have a button that says Community. <coughs> Pardon me. And when you open it up, it gives you six choices. Forums, messages, people, friends, groups, and events. Let's take them. Uh, how shall we do it? Top down. Okay. Forums are created by Ravelry by topic. There's a forum on patterns. That's my parrot. I'm sorry. There's a forum on yarn and fiber. There's one on techniques. One for the love of Ravelry, uh, needlework, news and events, tools and equipment. And you can also see there's a destash thing there. So if you want to swap or destash your tools, you can do it there. Loose ends, and then there was one in South Africa, but that one died. So, yeah, it's just sitting there. Okay. So you can go to any of these and search through them and take part in them. You don't need to join in any way. These are open forums created by Ravelry, and you can create a post there. You can see I can start a topic in patterns if I want to. I can search for something in patterns if I want to. And in the more button, <clears throat> it will give you a list of all the topics that's been created for the last while. Now you can go through all of these, like you can see there's 2,816 pages like this with um, topics that's been created by somebody. But it really helps if you're looking for something specific. If, for instance, you have a pattern and you have a problem with it, one way of dealing with it, is to go to the, the, the patterns forum and search with a pattern name. If somebody else had the same problem, surely you would be able to pick it up there. So those are the forums, public forums. You don't need to join. Anybody can take part and that is it. Anybody can and, um, start a topic as well. Let's look at the second one, the messages one. Now, if I open that, you won't see much because my inbox is completely empty. Now, what is that for? Okay. Say, for instance, I um, have a pattern. Let me just open just any pattern. I bought this pattern and I have a problem with the pattern. Something doesn't make sense. I think there's a mistake. I can click on the name of the designer underneath the name. And that will open up... Um, it says to you, it's a designer, you can, my username is wada wada wada, whatever. I can click on the username and I can send her a message. I can send her a message and say, hi, hi, I'm sorry, I bought this pattern, it doesn't work, your stitch count is out, is there a mistake that I've missed or whatever. And if she replies, I will find her reply right there in my messages. You can see that I've sent 105 already. Um, but there's nothing there, so my inbox is up to date. Okay, the next one is people. Now, people and friends may seem confusing to you. People are not your friends. But at the same time, friends are not like friends on Facebook. If I want to search for people, um, who can I search for? No more. Hmm. Let me search and see if I can pick up Norma and Glauber. There I've picked up Norma and Glauber. So you search for somebody at the people tab. If you get them, you click on the name and I can add her to my friends. She doesn't really have a say in the matter. She's now a friend of mine. It's not like Facebook. It's not that in your face, personal, hands on, I see everything you do. It's not like that. It's much more impersonal than Facebook. All right. So that is the friends thing, uh, the people thing. If I now go to the friends, you will see that I have a couple. I don't have many. Um, there's Noma. I just added her. Now, what is nice about your friends, you can see what they're working on. You can see what they're doing on Ravelry. Um, you can go and look at her stash. You can go and look at the her queue or her projects. So it's it's a little bit more personal than just, somebody passing by but it's still not nowhere as close up as Facebook which I actually really really like all right 
it's nice to see what your friends are doing because as you can see um, this one is in Mamalani's favorites and I really like this one so I might just add it to mine that type of thing you know it's nice to look through and see who's doing what who's working on what who started which project and those are the type of things you pick up in the friends tab okay let's go back to community then we have groups now you can search here for a group anything that tickles your fancy let me search for interlocking let's see if there are any groups on Ravelry with interlocking and there's more than one three matches Ashley's Brutzel designs it's interlocking and mosaic we have double fillet interlocking crochet and there's an early American inspired Afghan cow so here if I know and I don't want to join the group let's just open it up and see what what comes up okay welcome to the group uh, you can create your own bundle yada yada there's um, now in the group specifically they have the same setup as what you have on the public forum but it is specific to the group and each group has um, an administrator who looks after the group who makes sure nothing is posted that shouldn't be posted um, there are rules sometimes you can see there's group administrators these two people there's group moderators these two people so you can join a group if um, there's the join button on the right hand side and once you've joined you can also invite a friend to join so then this becomes a nice replacement in my opinion for Facebook now by now you must have noticed that my community isn't very active on Ravelry I look but I don't take part and I'll tell you why if I start taking part in Ravelry I will close my Facebook groups down in two ticks because Facebook irritates the living daylights out of me I hate Facebook if I can switch it off tomorrow I will so I would love to move all of my crochet, knitting, interlocking, everything over to Ravelry. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people in my Facebook groups who are not tech savvy and who will battle to find their feet in Ravelry and I will lose the following and I don't want to do that. So <clears throat> I'm not too active. But there's one group that I am in that I really want to show you and it's this one. Cal Fanatics with a K. But... <clears throat> As you can see, you can post cowls, knitting alongs, crochet alongs, make alongs, and uh, make alongs for knitting and make, along, make alongs for crochet. Um, they've got very strict group rules here. You're not allowed to start um, a new thread. They start the threads, and we just go in and we paste or we post in there. For instance, um, oh, okay, March is now gone you can see let's go for may let's go for crochet alongs may if we go into crochet alongs may you will see the designer of the cow will come and post it there and they will tell you what is going to be this is now just the opening statement so there's nothing in there yet let's see let's go to april there should be something in april yes okay so this is the opening statement by Ravelry they create it or by the group owner and then anybody like me can go in here and say okay um, there's a Caledonia shawl that's going to start let's see it's a mystery shawl with color work lace and short rows the dates are given if it's a price the price are given if it's a Facebook thing that's going to launch on Facebook, the Facebook group is given. You All my previous cows will be found in here, but obviously they're long gone now, so you can't see them anymore. Okay, so that is the cow groups. Now, as I said before, in this group, we advertise crochet alongs, knit alongs, and make alongs so this specific group is worth joining um, many of the people in my facebook groups came to me via this group on ravelry okay let's look at the community what's left 
is events. Now events, oops, sorry, that was a misclick on my side. Events are very nice. You can add a new event yourself. Um, even if it's just um, a crochet social that you're hosting at your house or even a Zoom meeting, you can say this is not going to be in person, this is going to be online. You can choose a category for your event. It's a fiber festival, it's a group chat, it's a live stream, whatever it is. And anybody can create an event and you can invite people to your event. So this is quite nice and you can even add people that will help you to manage the event um there was something else that i wanted to tell you and now for the life of me i cannot remember what it was old age is a terrible thing and i'm not even old yet okay as we close off with ravelry i quickly want to show you something else that sort of ties in with social if you click up here on yarns, there's a very nifty thing. It gives you popular new yarns. That's cool. You can search for yarns. That's cool. But look at this. Local yarn shop directory. You can search for a specific shop. But Ravelry tells me there's three yarn shops close to me. If I click there, let's see how accurate it is. <laughs> Damn accurate. Okay. The yarn room is close to me. This one is actually the closest one. This is in Pretoria North. And the further I go down the list, the further the shops are. So I end up in Cape Town. All right. So if you go to a specific place, you can always search and see for the best yarn shops. Now let me go back and show you a real one. Look at that. No, I want to go to yarns. Go to yarns. Um, road trip planner. Now, keep in mind, I'm in South Africa. And usually, South Africa is sucking the hind tit of the cow as far as everything on Ravelry and yarn is concerned. Now, look this. Watch us. If I go from Pretoria to Cape Town, how far are you willing to dare to it? Let's say 50 miles. Find shops on my route. It shows me there's the route and these are all the shops just off the route. Now tell me this isn't freaking magic. I love it. I love it. There's shops in there that I've never heard of. Never. And I will so certainly. We are planning a road trip in June uh, down to Cape Town. And I am surely going to visit some of the shops that are on this list. How's that? So that is a wrap up of Ravelry. I hope this has sparked your interest in Ravelry. I hope you will go play around and explore Ravelry and use it to your advantage. There has been a lot of effort gone into the development of the site to get it to this point. And I have a huge appreciation for the Ravelry team. There's been um, some ups and downs and some people got upset and yada yada. But you know what? They do this for the love of the craft and I love Ravelry. I honestly do. Like I said, if I could switch off my Facebook tomorrow, I will. I would gladly move over to Ravelry to only speak about craft and nothing else. I don't want to see the news. I don't want to see the animals being abused. I don't want to see children going missing. I don't want to see murder. I just want to see craft. I would do it without thinking about it. If only it was possible. I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope it um, opens up a new world for you. And if it does, give me some feedback. I would love to hear what you think.